Hey, this is Bethany, and today I'm going to be doing my September BoxyCharm video. As you all know and disclosed in my last video, BoxyCharm sends these to me each month because, uh, as agreed upon with them, they allow, allow me to review this $21 a month subscription box honestly. And also, that gives me a chance to show you guys what kind of products you get in this box. BoxyCharm typically focuses on sending out completely full-size products, not deluxe sample sizes. They might send one or two of those, but generally they guarantee at least four full-size products in each of their boxes for $21. So let's get to crack a lacken. Okay, so I've opened the box, and in here it says Fashion Week Fabulous. And as usual, it's got a card in it that tells us the full-size price of each of the products we received and we are receiving them all full size so that is an accurate amount for them and I really like that they do this so you know what kind of value you're getting and it's easy to add up the math uh, once you look at it all. Next I see I received a 20% off coupon for Tarte which is awesome because I love me some Tarte stuff. I don't usually get my hands on it until like Christmas and then they have some awesome gift sets. There's also one more coupon code for a personalized jewelry website called MyNameNecklace.com for 10% off. Hmm. Alright, so I just opened my box and had a minor heart attack. I had unsealed it on the kitchen table and we have a new kitten, a stray that I found that keeps getting up on the kitchen table and taking things and he took the rollerball fragrance that's supposed to be in this box. I know because I opened it and there's one thing missing that's on the list and I saw it in the box but I didn't look at it too closely. So I'm supposed to have a perfume called Hello by Harvey Prince. It's probably, I believe it's a full size rollerball. The packaging was like this long, which is, you know, full size. It was valued at $29 and my cat has hid it in the time that I opened this box. So, <laughs> This is an incomplete video. I would like to try the fragrance, but my cat stashed it somewhere and I just searched the whole kitchen and I can't find it. So we can thank my kitten little bub for an incomplete BoxyCharm video. And I apologize. So I do have the other four things in here. Luckily he didn't take off with anything else and hopefully I will find that fragrance because I love fragrance. But the first thing I see when I break into it is this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss. High Performance Naturals, it said, and it's in the shade Blushing Bride. So I have like a sheer lip gloss on right now, and I put that on because I knew I was going to have to put one on in this video, so let's try this on and see how it looks. This feels slippy, maybe a little bit sticky, but it um, smells really good like a donut. <laughs> like a vanilla powdered donut. It smells delicious. Maybe that's their intention. Or like a cupcake. I love it. So yeah, definitely liking that, and liking the color, pretty universally good. And this Tarte Lip Gloss retails for $19. The next thing in this box is this NCLA uh, Nail Polish. It's a full size, it retails for $16. It's a luxury nail lacquer made in LA with the highest quality of ingredients, never tested on animals. It's high shine, quick dry, and chip resistant. We'll try that on me and see how it goes. <laughs> Nothing is ever chip resistant with my lifestyle. But I'm observing the color here and it is model behavior. And it is, now that I'm seeing it in the light, it's kind of like a slate gray plum. And I actually think I may like this for fall. It's probably kind of an unusual color for some people. But my friend Jess and I were looking for like a slate gray nail polish, excuse me, for a while. So here's putting one coat on my ring finger so that you guys can see the color. I really do think that I would like this for fall. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this color is well suited to me. I just love the kind of very slight purple tinge to it um, and the fact that it's grayish. It's just understated and high fashion to me, so I like it. Okay, so one of the awesome things that they included in this palette, and I saw that they shared this on their Facebook, BoxyCharm hinted that they were gonna be putting a whole palette in there. And this palette is from Coastal Sense. It is the Go palette in Cairo. So I thought that was pretty cool. Not a lot of subscription boxes will include a whole palette in their box. And that's, to me, that's really impressive. Let's see what it retails for. So Coastal Sense is pretty affordable. This retails at $12.95. But here are the colors that I got in my palette, Cairo. And let me just give a few test swatches with my finger on some of them. 
I like the colors that are popping out to me. I like this kind of metallic yellow. And like, you know, Coastal Scents eyeshadows aren't my favorite in the world, but I found when I was looking for unusual colors that I couldn't find elsewhere, Coastal Scents was a good place to go to get good quality for an affordable price. So I've at least tried them and know I like them. So here are a few of those eyeshadows that I've already swatched. They seem to be coming off pretty well, and I know the Coastal Scents that I already had performed very well considering the price range. Their shimmers usually perform pretty well, and then some of their lighter colors have a bit of trouble picking up. I do think this is a cute palette. It's also got some matte colors in there, which makes me excited because I love mattes. But uh, since this is affordable, would you guys let me know if you would be interested in seeing a tutorial from me? Because people's ears always perk up when they hear affordable. So let me know. Okay, and then this last thing I got in the box, I'm excited to try it because as you all know from the last video, I was super uber mega excited about getting a Tarina Tarantino lip sheen. Now they sent out a mascara from her and I don't know how to feel. I'm excited to try it. These, this mascara is limited edition. It retails for $19. It's called Fleur de Lash. It's got a superior formulation that lengthen, lengthens, thickens, and adds maximum volume. So let's look at it. This is really pretty, and then it's got a T on the top. So very sleek packaging. And then we've got this huge brush. It's almost as large as the Dior Show brush, which makes me pretty excited. Back when I worked at a fragrance counter, I used to come by some Dior Show samples. I would add that on top of my regular mascara and it would boost it. And sometimes my mom would buy a certain Dior Show and give it to me. I know you're not supposed to share mascara, but my mom did. And I was like, yeah. I got luxury mascara. I didn't buy it because I'm poor. So all in all, I'm pretty excited to try this. I don't know if I can coat it over what I'm wearing right now, but let me see if I can play with it. I'm just really glad it's not one of those rubber bristles. So It did seem to add a bit on, but I've already worked up my own mascara on my eye today. So I will be excited to continue trying this over like a thinner layer of my own. And then if I really like it, then I'll let you guys know in my favorites video. Alright, so that has been my finished BoxyCharm video, and wow does this box feel a little bit heavier this month, even without the rollerball of which I never got to sniff, and hopefully I will soon once I find it. I just didn't have time to keep looking for it because I'm running out of time with the light, and I needed to get this video up, so I do apologize. But yeah, so overall, this box is near or around $100 value retail, and you get BoxyCharm for $21 a month. So, um, with the products that I saw, even though I didn't get to test the fragrance, from what I can tell, this box is well worth it. I did like the palette. That's a palette I probably would have tried if I was ordering Coastal Scents recently, even though I haven't bought from them for a little while. And I do like this lip gloss, uh, and this nail polish suits me really well. And I'm excited to try the, ma the mascara. Overall, there wasn't anything in there I wasn't excited about. So yeah, let's just hope that I eventually find that roller ball. And I hope that this was an educating video for you. And Bub can just apologize for likely being the culprit who stole it. What do you think, Bub? He doesn't care. He's just been sleeping on me for like this whole time. All he wants to do is nap on me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you, as always, for watching my videos, and y'all have a great day. Bye!